There is one simple thing that could save Pepe. Make sure you guys stay till the end of this video to hear what the mainstream media just said about Pepe live on TV and hear about how Elon Musk could save Pepe. Before we dive into how Elon Musk could save Pepe and what the mainstream media is saying about Pepe, we first need to talk about some important things with Pepe that I think are really good. People are seeing right now Pepe's price obviously has been on a decline for a while. Pepe right now from the peak until where we are down about 71, 72% so far. But what's nice and what we're starting to see is Pepe is starting to break out of this downward trend. You guys can see this downward trend. Pepe is starting to break out of it right next to me, which is good. I think we need to go above this resistance point before we start to get really excited about Pepe potentially going back up towards all time highs. And we probably also need some big news events, but we're seeing some good stuff. Even though the price of Pepe is only moving just ever so slightly to my side, you can see up about two and a half percent for the market cap right now. The big thing that's happening for Pepe is the volume. Volume's up almost 30% to $750 million. Now, when you compare that volume to Shiba Inu, you can see it's about $115 million, and Dogecoin right now about $350 million, up only 10% on the day. And so Pepe's volume right now is getting close to double the Shiba Inu and Dogecoin volume combined. And so while the price isn't changing, what this means is so critical. This means people are selling, taking profits, which is fine. No profit shaming here, but people are buying a ton of Pepe. There is a ton of buying interest in Pepe, which I think is really good because people are right now loading up on bags, getting ready because they believe Pepe could go up dramatically. Why else would so many people be buying in there being so much volume for Pepe if people didn't believe that Pepe could go back to all time highs or maybe even higher? And I think this is just one sign that goes to show how strong this community is. Now let's talk about what happened on mainstream media. You guys can see behind me, they ended up talking about Pepe on mainstream media. Now, now here's what the mainstream media said. They said that the delete Coinbase hashtag ended up going trending, which in their opinion caused Coinbase to actually drop that three and a half, about three and a half percent on the day. And that started because they declared Pepe the cryptocurrency as a hate symbol which obviously that is not what we are. And we discussed that in a video yesterday, but because they did that, there was such strong backlash with this hashtag, the elite Coinbase movement, getting over 70,000 tweets about it now. And that's what caused Coinbase stock to drop three and a half percent in one day. And so the mainstream media is taking note of how strong our Pepe community is and how really we are not about this hate symbol. Instead, like what people put in this tweet, Pepe is love. Pepe is about love. We're not about hate. We're not this fringe alt-right group that they claim we are. Our Pepe crypto community is about love. It's about empowering people. And I think that's just so important to emphasize because we are able to not only have Coinbase stock drop, we are able to get Coinbase to reverse trends within a day, have them issue an apology within a day because of the extreme backlash from the Pepe community, which just goes to show again how strong our community is, how dedicated we are. By the way, if you appreciate videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe down below so you don't miss more great content and hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as video goes live. Not only do we have strong volume coming in for Pepe, but we're also able to get Coinbase to reverse trend, Coinbase to apologize. And in my opinion, I see Coinbase listing Pepe very, very soon due to the backlash. And one of those examples as to why I think this could happen is there's this tweet that was put out. And to disclaimer here, guys, I was not able to confirm this yet, but apparently the Coinbase wallet interacted with the Pepe contract Coinbase rumors supposedly confirmed. Again, I have not been able to confirm this. They did not link to a transaction hash in this post, so I was not able to confirm it, but it does seem like Coinbase is maybe interacting with the Pepe contract. At the very least, whether this happened or not, I think Coinbase is going to list Pepe. Again, we have such a strong community. Not only are they missing out on tons of volume from the Pepe community, hundreds of millions of dollars of volume, which translates to millions of dollars of revenue for their company, they are not only just missing out on that, they are actively hurting their company. As you guys saw, they're decreasing their company value by not interacting with the Pepe community. So it's a double whammy for them by not going with the Pepe community, which is why I think they are going to be listing Pepe. And while we might not be the biggest fans of Coinbase in the Pepe community, this adds a ton of value to Pepe because so many more people will be able to access Pepe now. I know so many people who buy significant values of cryptocurrency, they're what you'd consider more institutional type buyers or higher value retail traders, and they don't really do cryptocurrency on other exchanges. They pretty much only go through Coinbase. And so if you can get Pepe listed on Coinbase, I know people who'd probably put a combined over $100,000 into Pepe easily. And so you have this value that could go into Pepe that's just not going there right now. Now let's talk about Elon Musk. Could Elon Musk do to Pepe what he ended up doing for both Shiba Inu 
and Dogecoin helping those prices absolutely explode? I think the answer is yes. I think Elon Musk could help to dramatically increase the value of Pepe and have us actually overtake Dogecoin and Shiba Inu if he joins our movement. Elon Musk tends to be for the people, but he also likes meme culture. He tweeted this out just the other day. This is a tweet related to Miladies, which is an NFT collection, but someone ended up creating a Milady cryptocurrency. You guys can see this cryptocurrency pretty much brand new as of the 8th of May. So at the time of recording, this about four days ago, brand new about four days ago, not the main thing that was discussed or not the main thing that he was targeting. He was targeting more that that NFT collection, but this cryptocurrency peaked on 24 hour volume, $200 million basically of 24 hour volume. You see volume right now is about $100 million. Market cap ended up going all the way up to about $100 million market cap, which is absolutely massive because again, this was not his main focus. His main focus was talking about this NFT collection. Somebody just happened to have made a cryptocurrency a couple days before that was based on that NFT collection. This was not the basis of what he was trying to do. So indirectly, he ended up pumping this cryptocurrency up $100 million of value and bringing $200 million of liquidity to something he wasn't even targeting. That means that if he actually targets Pepe, just think about this. If he actually intends to increase the value of the Pepe cryptocurrency, you could see Pepe value, the market cap of Pepe, go up easily $500 million right off one tweet. You could see hundreds of millions of dollars of volume, which right now for Pepe, you'd be talking doubling the market cap for Pepe and maybe doubling the volume in Pepe if Elon Musk starts to talk about it. And I think Elon Musk could talk about it because he has before tweeted out a Pepe. A lot of people don't know this, but this tweet, this goes back to November of 2022. So it goes back a little while. Right now, you guys can see Elon Musk has precedent of talking about Pepe. He has precedent within the past couple of days of bringing up meme type NFTs. I think it's very likely, in my opinion, that Elon Musk actually talks about Pepe and he joins in on our movement. And this would just provide so much capital into the Pepe ecosystem. It would be absolutely crazy. And I don't see him not doing it because right now Pepe is growing significantly. You can see again our volume numbers. But what's interesting is when we look at the on chain holders, you can see this number really hasn't changed in a couple days. We're about the same. And so you might be wondering where is all this volume going if our on chain holder number is not really going up past about, let's say, 110,000 holders, which by the way, that's a lot of holders to come around in just a couple weeks. But if the volume's not going here, where is it going? Well, it seems to be going mainly off to different exchanges. That's where all of this volume seems to be heading. Gemini and other exchanges, Binance, OKX, all these places, which again means that Coinbase is a great example of one that is missing out and one that could benefit dramatically by adding Pepe. And the reason why a lot of this volume is not happening on chain, the on chain holders are not going up, it's all happening on exchanges, is because the exchanges have such lower fees. You go ahead and take a look. Binance now holds 20% of the Pepe, and that, to be clear, does not mean that CZ Binance holds the Pepe. That means that the holders on Binance, all the customers of Binance, tens of thousands probably of different people, have a combined 20% of Pepe that they're storing on Binance. This is not held by Binance or CZ Binance, the corporation. This is just them storing customer funds. And so what this means is that Pepe has so much more potential here, in my opinion, as we continue to get more exchanges that list it, more people who are able to buy in without having to deal with the exchange fees, because if we can get, let's say, another couple thousand people to buy in for $1,000 each, that would provide so much value to Pepe. And one of the exchanges that is actually offering a promotional value right now is MEXE. You guys can see, if you go ahead and sign up and trade on MEXE, you can earn $100 worth of Pepe for free, up to $9,000 worth of USDT. Absolutely insane value. All the terms are on this page that's linked in the description down below. For you guys to go ahead and check out, there will be a create account button right here. If you don't already have one already, you guys can sign up, create an account, deposit and trade, and earn tons of value. If you want to hear how Pepe could actually overtake Dogecoin and become worth over $10 billion, check out this video up here, and I'll catch you on the next one.